there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. He was blameless and upright. He feared God and turned away from evil. Job had seven sons and three daughters. He owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 pairs of oxen, and 500 female donkeys. He had many servants, and he was the wealthiest man in all the East. Each of his sons often prepared feasts in their homes and invited their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And when the days of their feasting were completed, Job would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings for each of them. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. This is what Job did every time. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Lord spoke to Satan, Where are you coming from? From wandering the earth and walking to and fro upon it. Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil? Does Job fear God without reason? Have you not protected him in every way and blessed all that he has put his hands to? But take away everything he has, and see then if he will not curse you to your face. Behold, all that he has is in your power, except you are not to lay your hand against him. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. There came a day when Job's sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. A servant came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were feeding beside them when the Sabaeans came and took them away. And they killed all the servants with their swords and I alone escaped to tell you. And while he was still speaking, another came to Job and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up all the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While the second servant was still speaking, yet another came to Job and said, The Chaldeans formed three groups and made a raid on the camels and took them away, and they killed the servants with their swords, and I alone have escaped to tell you. And while he was still speaking, another came to Job and said, your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking in their oldest brother's house, when, when suddenly a strong wind blew in from the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house, and it fell on the young people, and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. <laughs> After hearing of these tragedies, Job tore his robe, shaved his head, fell down upon the ground, and worshipped God. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all of this, Job did not sin or blame God for what had happened. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. 
And Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Satan, Where are you coming from? From wandering the earth and walking to and fro upon it. Have you considered, my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? A blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil and that he still holds to his integrity even though you provoked me against him to destroy him for no reason. Skin for skin, a man will give up everything he has to save his own life. Stretch out your hand now and strike his flesh and he will curse you to your face. Behold, he is in your hands. Only spare his life. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Then Satan struck Job down with horrible boils from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. And Job took a piece of a broken pot to scrape the boils off and sat down in the ashes. <laughs> then his wife asked him, Do you still hold on to your integrity? Curse God and die. You speak like a foolish woman. A way to receive the good at God's hand, but reject the bad. Oh. In all of this, Job did not sin with his lips. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it as he sat among the ashes. His wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. He replied, You are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? In all this, Job did not sin in what he said. Job chapter 2, verses 7 to 10.